I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Today we are going to have some halal fun. And you know halal fun is the best fun, like doing muta, one day night stand, according to Allah teaching, it's very holy religion. Uh, if you remember last time I made a video about this kid, his name is Sheikh Uthman, he went to YouTube and he flagged it for copyright. At that moment I did not really fight it, even though we have the right to use it. But today we will see if this coward will do the same. But we will not let him win. Uh, Sheikh Uthman, don't forget to flag my video so we can laugh at you. Sheikh Uthman, as usual, he is just a little kid who say things which is an embarrassment to Islam. A Muslim, a Muhammadan, he posted a video saying that Sheikh Uthman was debating a Christian and he did leave him speechless. Why? Because he, uh, she said to him, God cannot forgive without blood. <laughs> what I make it, you know, what I find it hilarious that this coward, if you remember last time when he flagged my video, he was saying to a Christian woman, human is a property? Human is a property? The Bible says a human is a property when half of his book says that a human is a property. So what this coward does, he say things and he claim he's against it, but it is in his book. And here you need to ask yourself a very simple question. Either he is a fraud and he is not a sheikh, or because he do not know what is in his book, which means he is a scam claiming to be a sheikh, or he is a sheikh who knows what is in his book, and he is a fraud again lying. So which one is you? And then the coward, he went to YouTube and he flagged the video. I did not fight it because it's not worth it. He is just a kid. But, you know, those people need to be taught and to be put in their place. All those verses in the Quran, it says that, you know, the property you own by your hand. Chapter 4, number 3, chapter 4, verse 24, chapter 4, verse 25, chapter 4, verse 36, chapter 23, 6. I mean, and Muhammad, he have tons of them. And the coward, he say, do you believe, he's saying to Christian women, do you believe A human is a property. Do you? And he cried out like, how in the world do you believe in such a thing? How do you, how you do that? We Muslims don't believe in that. Uh, Bilal, and uh, uh, I remember Bilal, the one who owned by Muhammad. He cried for Muhammad and Abu Bakr. He says to him, for the sake of Allah, if you bought me for the sake of Allah, then free me for the sake of Allah. <laughs> And if you bought me for yourself, keep me for yourself. 
and Muhammad he have married a copy and if you remember the same coward he claimed that the prophet he honor he freed her to honor her to marry her and then we made a video and we showed you that the prophet never married her never freed her and never honor her and not only that we played videos made by Muslims to say clearly from his country that the prophet never married this woman and he never freed her so this is a certified coward we will listen to a little bit so we don't give him a chance to take our video down listen to this potato and let us show you that what he oppose is in his religion not in ours go potato so loving that he could forgive without blood being spilled i mean i, I, I think don't you think there's a God who is loving, he can forgive without blood expelled? Can't you? What kind of God is a God and he's loving and he cannot forgive you without a blood spell? I, think you believe, I, I know what you experienced, but, but you know that if there's a creator that created these skies and this earth and humans, that he is so great that he doesn't need somebody's blood to be spilled. To he do not need somebody to forgive you. He did not need the body, the blood of anyone. And here we are going to start our comedy. Sheikh Uthman, today I'm going to leave my fingerprints. You know where, as usual. If we ask the Muslims, what is the biggest occasion you have in your life? They will say Eid al Adha. <laughs> what is that? They say the day of sacrifice. <laughs> And why you sacrifice? So Allah, get close to Allah and he forgive our sin. No, we don't do that, CP. It doesn't say that, CP. We don't believe in that, CP. And not only that, Muhammad himself, he used to sacrifice. Go. And Ibn Umar narrates that the Prophet ﷺ used to offer a sacrifice for all 10 years that he lived in Medina. So every one of the 10 years he lived in Medina, he would sacrifice ﷺ. What kind of God do you need? Can God, can God forgive without sacrifice? Why Muhammad each time he go to do Hajj brother? He have to sacrifice brother? That will explain why is this guy a sheikh too or he is not a sheikh he's a sheikh do you see how the muslims they have their own propaganda and agenda and lies muhammadans then we find out why muslims they sacrifice what is the purpose really of sacrificing to allah can this god allah forgive your sin without sacrifice no you have to sacrifice. Listen carefully. Mentions Nadal Autar that just like the person who uh, who's in ihram is completely ransomed from the punishment of Jahannam on the day of judgment, likewise, it is like saying every single part of you is freed and ransomed and uh, and, and and protected from punishment on the day of judgment. So you are protected from the punishment of judgment day by sacrifice. Can this God forgive you without a bloodshed? Can't he? Ishaq Osman, can't he? Well, you're a prophet sacrificing for what? And which, which sheikh of you is telling the truth? God cannot forgive without blood. Potato, let us go now to the Quran and everybody will laugh at you. You are a scam. Allah, He ordered since the time of Adam. He ordered the children of Adam to sacrifice. And Allah don't accept sacrifice of one of the children of Adam because He provided vegetation. He accepted the sacrifice of the other child or son of Adam because he sacrificed a ram. 
And what is meant by the sacrificing and accepting sacrifice? Remember, can God, can this God forgive without blood? The God of Islam, he steal from the Old Testament. And then the God of Islam followers, they, they deny what is they stolen from the Old Testament and they claim they don't believe in blood sacrifice. And then we go and we ask the scholars, not Abdul, making business in YouTube. We find that God of Islam, he don't accept any sacrifice unless it is a blood, period. And I challenge this coward to say I'm lying. Have you ever heard of, of a Muslim sacrificing zucchini? Have you ever heard of a Muslim sacrificing a tree? Have you? Never. So we go and we read the interpretation so a potato like this cannot fool people. And you know the Muslims, they know what I'm talking about. This is for you Christians. So when you go to such a, a scam like this person, you get him busted. So if you go ever next time, play the video for him and let him record it and take a camera with you and you record it yourself, get him busted. I want to see what he want to say. What he will say. He will say the sheikh that who was, who Christian Prince, he played his video is lying. I can play a million sheikh and I will show you fatwas too. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Jalalain, not Ibn Susu and Mimi from Afghanistan. And recite, O oh Muhammad. Okay, recite what? Tell your poop or the stories. Okay, story about what? About the case of sacrifice that each of them, Allah, he, he asked them to offer a sacrifice to Allah, which in the case of Abel was a ram. In the case of Cain's, it was a green, crops. And it was accepted from one, namely Abel. A fire came from the heaven and consumed his offering. Can't this God, you know, okay, can't this God make a decision without sacrifice? Can't he? Is the blood necessarily in Islam? Yes. Muhammad himself, he sacrificed, as we heard in the video. And the Muslim, they have to sacrifice so their sin can be forgiven. Now, maybe, maybe the sheikh is wrong. I mean, he was caught in a scholar, right? What about we caught Muhammad himself? Shall we? Shall we? Okay, shall and we together, they will make sense. This is Muhammad. This is who? This is Muhammad, the biggest Mimi, the biggest Abdul. Aisha reported that Allah Messenger saying, on the day of sacrifice, <laughs> in the day of what? <laughs> in the day of what? And, and now, by the way, this guy, he would say, this hadith is not sahih, but there is, it says here, sahih al-alabani. Because we know, you remember, like, you know, the, the, the CP. This hadith is reported by Susu, and Susu told Fufu, and Fufu told Mimi, and Mimi told Dudu. Dudu is very well known that he played with his private part when he's praying, so he's rejected. The hadith is rejected. What a scumbag. So Aisha, Aisha, Ayusha, she reported that the Messenger of Allah saying one day, in the day of sacrifice, no one does a deed more blessing to Allah than shedding a blood. Do you see it? No one, no one does, no one does a deed more pleasing to Allah. What please Allah? Allah not only forgives sin if you shed the blood, Allah gets so happy. Look, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Thank you. I am so pleased now. I love you, love you, love you. Shed more blood. And this coward, he is saying to us, can't this God, can't God forgive? 
without the blood. And he? Is that your prophet talking? Is it a Sahih Hadith? The sacrifice will come in the day of resurrection with its horns, its hair, and its hooves, and the blood find acceptance with Allah before it fails in the ground. Do you see the coward how he lied? Secondly, he is lying about Christianity. You see, in Christianity, God is not asking us to sacrifice. God, he sacrificed. <laughs> you see the difference? The coward, he's saying, can't this God forgive your sin without sacrificing blood? As if it is us who is sacrificing blood. In Christianity, Christ, he sacrificed himself, not like the coward Muhammad who ran away and he asked his cousin to sleep in his bed in case they want to kill him, as the story says. Jesus doesn't do that. And actually, even Isa in Islam is a coward. According to Muhammad and Isa, he asked one of uh, his disciples, who want to take my look so he can die? Sacrifice himself for me. Sacrifice yourself for me. This is Islamic, not Christianity. A true hero is the one who sacrifice himself to save the rest. Muhammad, he ran away and he asked his cousin to sleep in his bed so he could sacrifice him and they kill him. Muhammad, he sent the army to fight, but he stayed home with Khadija and Aisha, playing with their legs. And Muhammad is the one who insists that nothing is more pleasing to Allah as sacrificing blood. Are we done? No. Those hadith is all over the place. About how Allah, he is, we will not show the one is da'if. So the Muslim, we will not play the game of da'if and sahih. You know them, right? Allah, he ordered Muhammad to sacrifice and if the sacrifice stop with shedding the blood of an animals, we will let it go. But do you know that the best sacrifice is a human sacrifice in Islam? When a human sacrifice himself to Allah, and this is Sahih, because we know this little boy. He will say, this is not Sahih. And he might say, this is Hassan. And Hassan is good. Hassan means good. The same as he did with David Wood. This is prayerful brother. And it didn't lie. This is, is this is Hassan according to the publisher, but it's not according to Islam. What a coward, muta boy. Read carefully. Sahih Hadith. Oh, I forgot. Sheikh Uthman, he don't speak Arabic. I heard him reading Arabic. I was laughing, dying laughing. And let this coward dare to let me call him. Don't dare to call me. You don't dare to call me. I know you are a coward. I challenge you to let me call you. And you record it, coward. And you know those conversations he do, he cut anything is embarrassment because they are the one in control of the camera. Allah, he forgive. Forgive who? Forgive the murderer who sacrifice his blood, who sacrifice himself, a human sacrifice, with the first shedding of his blood. Allah, he forgive all his sin, and the door of paradise is open. And then Allah right away will give him the 72 versions, and their legs is up waiting for boom, boom, as you see. What kind of God he will not forgive this Abdul unless he sacrifice his blood? And because he sacrificed his blood, Allah granted him virgins. 
Isn't it this is satanic? Kill yourself, I give you women. Your God is a drug dealer. So while in Christianity, we Christian, we say, for God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. And God does not have to sacrifice his blood. Who says so? God, because he loved us in Christianity, he himself voluntarily, he said, I lay down myself. He knew what they would do. When we speak about the sacrifice of Jesus and how he forgave our sin, that because Jesus, he gave us a chance by accepting everything he did, not only the cross, not only being killed, not only his resurrection, everything he did by accepting him, he gave us a chance to forgive our sin. So you lie when you say, can God forgive sin without sacrificing blood? And the Quran, in chapter 108, order Muhammad to sacrifice. It's an order, it's a must. And we can show tons of reference about sacrificing. And I don't want to forget to mention that this God is not going to be pleased unless even you kill children, even though they are Muslims. You know, they remember the Muslim they say to you, like yesterday, a person, he came to us and he spoke about Samuel, right? First Samuel. And then we showed him the story from the Quran. And then the Muslim, he won't silence him mute. He has tail between his legs. We see When Muhammad speak proudly about Allah sending Moses to school, and the purpose of that school or the education for Moses is to teach him how to kill children. So Moses accompany a guy, his name is Al-Khadr, which called Mr. Green because he drank from the fountain of youth, as we showed you from the story of Muhammad. Imagine there's a religion believe there's a fountain of youth. And this is where the movie, the part of the Caribbean, they took their movie from maybe. And this guy Al-Khadr is called Al-Khadr, which means green because he drank from the fountain of life. And he stayed alive until now because he drank from the fountain of life. And he was called the green because when he sat in a place with his ass, he made the grass green, even if it's dead or dry. So Moses was sent by Allah to learn how to do blood sacrifice of the children. So this guy, he saw a kid, he slaughtered him. And then Moses, he got upset. He said, you killed a child, a pure soul, an innocent child. Why you kill him? Why you kill this boy? He's just a boy. Then this guy who is educated by Allah, he explained to the foolish Musas who do not understand Islam. And explained to him why we killed the boy. As for the boy, his parents were believers and we feared he would overwhelm them with oppression and disbelief. So in Islam, we sacrifice the blood of a child before even the child he do wrong. And that to please Allah, because remember everything the Muslim he do, he do it to please his God. As we saw in the previous hadith, where Muhammad he made it clear that nothing can please Allah. Nothing can please Allah as much as shedding blood. Those cowards, they accuse us of what they have. They speak against boyfriend and girlfriend and their prophet is the one who have many girlfriends. And their prophet is the one who order muta. They speak about preserving the Qur'an and then we find that the Qur'an eaten by goat. 
They speak about nobody can make Quran, and then we find the ant making Quran. We find Mary making Quran. We find Isa making Quran. We find Moses making Quran. Even a bird making Quran, chicken. So remember one thing that those cowards, they go after children's or people who do not know. And not only that, if a person, he come to them and he have little knowledge about Islam, they cut the video and say he is lying. Like this one. This one, Christian preacher get caught lying about Allah. What the Christian preacher he said? He said the Quran says Allah is a deceiver. The potato Uthman, he said to him, where? The guy, he said, in the Quran. And then the Sheikh Uthman, he claimed that this guy is lying. Three hundred eight thousand viewer. Sheikh Uthman, Muta boy, did the guy lie when he says that Allah is a deceiver in the Quran? Did he? Don't forget to flag the video. You're gonna take it down because we are playing very short part. Potato. Deceive the people and said that's Facebook. I don't think it's the Quran. What a deceiver. The deceiver in the Quran. And let's take a look at the story. Sure. Let's look it up. Sure, let us look it up. And then he made a video. He cut line. It doesn't say that, CP. Let us get you busted, potato. Coward. Here we go. <laughs> Nowhere in the Quran it says Allah is a deceiver. <laughs> and three hundred eight thousand Abdul watched the video, and none of them was was a little bit honest to say Abdul is right. The Quran says Allah is a deceiver. And this is your Muslim translation for one of many verses about Allah being deceiver, chapter four, verse number eighty-eight. It says here, Allah, he said to Muhammad, huh. okay, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Do you want to guide? Do you want to guide those who Allah has led astray? He has led what? This is the Muslim translation in Arabic, Yudil, is deceive. Who is the one who deceived his believers? Is it shaitan? No. It's Allah. And if you don't know what the word astray mean in English, you can't go to Prophet Google, peace be upon him, and you will see that it's the one who directs you in a direction which is the wrong direction. Deceiving. The Muslims trying to use, the Muhammad trying to use a nicer word for deceiver. So the Quran saying, how are you going to de how are you going to guide the one who Allah misguide and deceive? And there is tons of verses. And then this guy he says, Christian preacher cut line. He cut line, brother. He said Allah is a deceiver. <laughs> How embarrassing. How embarrassing, you potato. He is lying? This is why when you go to talk to those people, you have to get your reference ready. And don't go and just talk, and then don't, later you do not know where to find it. So now he's playing the game. Oh, he could not find where, where? It said to him in the Quran. So where? He acted as if he never heard of it. Where? This is not true. In our book, there's nothing like this. We don't have such a thing. We, Muhammadan, we don't believe that God, he sent people astray. This Christian preacher, he was cut lying. 
chapter 13 verse 27 and those who disbelieve say why not a sign from him they that keeps asking him okay why you don't have a miracle abdul potato muhammad why don't have a miracle the only miracle Muhammad he have claimed that Allah he sent him a dish of shish kebab for his private part and then after he ate it his private part became like boing have the power of 40 men and then because you don't believe Muhammad he have to find an excuse so he said say verily Allah send astray whom he wills and guide into himself who he wills in repentance so who is the one who sent them astray Allah I mean you see stupid religion they attack you for not believing in Allah. And then we find that Allah is the one who sent you astray. He decide who wanna go astray and he decide who wanna go in the correct direction. And we showed you before that the potato Muhammad, as usual, <laughs> he cannot keep his mouth shut. So what he said, <laughs> that any sin you do it was because Allah he led you astray including when you do have sex out of marriage Allah he led you he led your private part to unlawful sin to sleep with women around it is Allah brother Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in and which he of necessity must commit. It's a necessity. You cannot change your fate. It is written, Kutiba ala ibn Adam. Hadduhu min zina Allah is a fornicator. And he is the one who spread fornication. And even when Adam, he commits sin. It was Allah who led Adam astray. And he wrote 40 years before he created Adam. As you see, and this is all is Sahih Hadith, so this guy, the potato, he cannot say it's not true. 40 years before he created him, Allah, he decreed. A destiny, a fate which Adam must commit. Which means Adam, he did not really commit sin, according to Islam. Adam was a victim of the satanic decree of the guy who they call him Allah. There's no Christian will accept just like garbage because if God is playing this game, he make Adam commit sin and then he ask Adam to ask forgiveness. What kind of a disgusting God this God is. And here you see how Muhammad exposes his stupidity by claiming that Moses asked Adam, says to him, because of you, we are out of heaven. We are disappointed because of you, which means Moses never was a Muslim because Moses here, he believed in the original sin. And yet the Muhammadan they claim that Moses was a Muslim. And not to forget to mention the time of traveler Muhammad, who he claimed that Moses and Adam they met. A time traveler Muhammad. Because of you, we are disappointed. We are turned out of paradise. Adam, he said to him, Khabibi, Khabibi, Moshe. Khabibi, come here, Khabibi, come here. Okay. So do you blame me? Do you blame me for, a, my, for an action? Do you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation? Allah is a deceiver. Allah is a fraud. Allah is a joke. Allah, he love a bloodshed. And there is other things Allah, he like beside bloodshed as we showed you. Like here Muhammad, he said, Nothing please Allah more than a bloodshed. But in fact, there is some other stuff. Muhammad here, he forgot to mention. Muhammad, he keeps saying things. As an example, Allah, he loved those who sneeze. And here you see this, the, the cute side of Allah. We have a God. He loved those who sneeze. He hate those who do yawning. 
In Allah yuhibbu al-attas. Allah, he like what? Not like he love. This is the first time Allah, he loves somebody. For what? For having flu. Allah loves those who sneeze and dislike yawning. And he claimed that yawning is from shaitan. So my friends, Christians, please, when you go to speak to those people, spread those videos. Let those Christian children who come to this evil liar, who accuse us of things he have in his religion, not in ours. The blood of Jesus was not us sacrificing blood. It was Jesus who loved us, who come to earth. He knew what they would do to him. And yet he did not run away for God is loving. The love of Jesus is what forgive our sin. So when we say the blood of Jesus, because this is the maximum of his love. And our sin is forgiven if we repent and we follow him. Not because he just died in the cross, we are forgiven. Absolutely false. This is why Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, which means just worship me, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Islam is a religion of hypocrisy and superstition and rituals. Islam is saying stupid things, not only like destiny of uh, Allah make you commit sin, Allah can make you commit fornication, and then Allah will punish you, and Adam, he commits sin, and Allah will punish Adam, and then Allah, he kick Adam out of heaven, and then we find that Adam was a victim of Allah. We find that even children, they might go to hell. Because Allah, he created people to go to hell previously, which means it's not what you do, it's not your deed. When Muhammad and Aisha, they attend the funeral, and Aisha, she said, well, this child, he will go to heaven, he's an infant. He never commits sin, he never reached the age of sin. Muhammad, he said to her, don't be stupid, Aisha. It might be the opposite. For Allah, he created those who will go to paradise when they are in their father backbone, not loins, as in translation says here. And he created those who will go to hell when they are in their father backbone. Which means, it's not, who cares if he commits sin or not? He's a baby, yes. He never commits sin, yes. But who said that your sin is the reason to go to hell? That is how we stupid Islam. So in one hand, he asked them to slaughter animals and slaughter themselves to forgive your sin. In the other hand, he is the one who made them do sin. In the other hand, he is the one who wrote their fate. Where do we go? So all the deeds of Muhammadan is a fraud because it's opposing what Allah himself is speaking about himself. Is our deed will save us? No. But he just said the deed of saving you, of shedding your blood will save you. Your blood, the first drop of a blood, come down before it touched the ground. Allah opened the doors of heaven for you, and he gave you the 72 whore. The God of whores. That is Allah. And the God who provides whore, he must be a whore. From the whore he come, to the whore he go. Don't forget to download the video. I'm not going to keep you longer. And as you see, Muslims believe in sacrifice and their biggest holiday is sacrifice. And the most thing pleasing to Allah is sacrifice and sacrifice of a human. And actually I can show tons of reference. Tons of reference, endless. But we are just trying to cover the point, and this is more than enough to get them busted. And I'm so glad that those Muslims, they are making fun of their own belief by speaking against such a belief. Because the one who believe that God cannot forgive sin without blood, and then we find that he himself is the one who believe in sacrificing blood to forgive the sin. You can search right now for ruling of sacrifice. Ruling. They have ruling.
Islam is religion of sacrifice. Muhammad, he said, whoever sacrifice, let me find a different hadith for a second. Just one more, maybe, or two. I just remember one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the angels, they sit every day. In the front of houses of mosque, houses or mosque, waiting for the man who sacrifice. He sacrifice a cow, he sacrifice a camel, and he even sacrifice himself. Do you see it? A huge part of this cult, which is a pagan practice, and actually even the video we played for you about the sheikh, he said it clearly that the Arab before Islam used to sacrifice around the Kaaba. Look how many orders of sacrifice. And this coward he was asking, can't this God forgive sin without sacrifice? Can you believe it? It's endless. It's endless. Liars, liars will end in fires. With their prophet, they will go. And not only that, when you sacrifice to Allah, it's not an occasion thing. Even when Muhammad and don't the Muslim they say halal food, you know what halal food is a sacrifice to Allah. Halal food is sacrifice to Allah. When they slaughter an animal, they sacrifice in the name of Allah. So their food will be accepted. Can this God accept your food without sacrificing for his name? Allah, he love meat, he love blood. And nothing, as you see, nothing is pleasing to Allah. Nothing is pleasing to Allah. As much from the deeds of any Muslim, as much blood shed. This is your God, and this Abdul got busted. Please download the video, share it with your friends. Thank you for being here. I'm not going to keep you for long. I'm trying to make it shorter so to make it easier to share with everybody. Thank you. And let us see if this coward will flag the video so we can laugh. We will not be able to take it down because we played even a few seconds. We can play even more, way more, but we are not giving a chance to play the game he play. For he's a coward and he flag videos of those who expose his lies. Go and make a video. Respond to Christian Prince, I will never flag your video. We will laugh at you. And that will bring me more Muslims to listen to me. Muslim videos is the best way to bring Muslims to see the truth. I encourage all Muslims to speak against Christian Prince. All of you, the more you speak, the more we do better. Thank you very much. God is good. And as you see, we don't say things. We prove things. We don't say he said, she said. We show you the reference in the front of your eyes from their books. Nothing is more pleasing to Allah as sacrificing blood. And the man who sacrifice his blood, before the drop of his blood touch the ground, Allah, he prepared for him 72 whore so he can F them. What you expect from a God, he is a pimp, except being pimpy. Thank you. God bless you. Christ is Lord. And thank you, Lord. And thank you for you being a true hero for us 
You did not ask us to die for you. You die for us to save us. Because you love us, you come to save us. You don't have to. They lie when they say he have to. He's God, he don't have to. He don't have to. But you Muslims, you have to. You Muslims, you have to do stupid things to be forgiven. Have you ever heard of a somebody he says, if you say the word Bismillah 100 times, your sin is forgiven? Have you ever heard of somebody saying that he is not a pagan, he is against paganism? And then we find that if you kiss a stone and touch the Yemeni corner, it erases your sin. In which religion, which religion is that? Which religion is against paganism and they claim that they are monotheist? Teach that if you touch stones and if you kiss stones, your sin is forgiven. They lie when they say they are against the statues. The biggest statue is the Kaaba, and the black stone is the right hand of Allah, as Muhammad he said. And not only that, we find even in the Quran that Allah He ordered His Prophet Solomon, the Muslim Solomon, to build synagogue full of his statues. And then you will see this guy saying. Why some Christians they have statues? Well, this is not biblical, but in, it's in, it is in your in your book. It is in your book. Chapter thirty four, verse thirteen. Islam is a scam, and I challenge you to prove me wrong. What kind of God he ordered them? to build the statues if he's against the statues. It's an order from Allah. Those Muhammadan, they dare, they dare to debate Christian kids or people who have, they are ignorant about Islam. But they stay away from people like us because they knew their career will be demolished if they speak to us. And already it's demolished actually, they have no career. Who is going to respect, even if you are a Muslim, who is going to respect somebody, he speak, make fun of his religion, says, what kind of God he do that? When all of Islam is based on sacrifice, and even your food is based on sacrifice, halal food is nothing but a sacrifice in the name of Allah. You slaughter in the name of Allah. You do the adha in the name of Allah. You have to sacrifice even yourself so you can go be shaheed, and then Allah will make you a green bird when you sacrifice your blood, which is very stupid. I mean, this guy will become a green bird, and then Allah will give him 72 versions. But he is a parrot now. How he's going to have sex with the 72 versions? Thank you. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Muhammad is a scam, and we prove it every day. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. 